time to get lean. Starting today, your boy is officially cutting. And let me tell you, it's been years since I last did a cut. It's been years since I was actually lean. So it's going to be really interesting to see what I look like now that I have all this muscle mass and I get to a lower body fat percentage. Now, the reason why I'm doing this it has nothing to do with looking big uh, because after all, the bear mode naturally enhanced philosophy is the best way of looking huge as a drug free lifter. If you want to look stacked and closed, if you want to look massive, period, and have the best strength performance in the gym in terms of lifting weights, how your body fat is the way to go. And I've talked a lot about that in my video, so my stance has not, nor will it ever change regarding this subject. So the only reason why I am doing a cut is for sports specific applications, specificity to be perfectly honest with you. And the main thing is gymnastic type training and calisthenics. Uh, because as of right now, although I'm not fat right now, I'm still reasonably like, I'm under 20%, I would say about 18% body fat or so, it's still too much to perform at an optimal level in terms of body weight moves. I just, I feel the weight, it's too much. And I know there are guys who I follow, like Mechanimal, who he was pretty damn lean. And even at that percentage, it was still causing him problems. So he had to lean down to about 10% or so in order to be really good at the gymnastics. So that's the main reason why I'm doing it. I want to excel at these body weight moves and I'm carrying too much weight. Trust me, you do feel it. When you're a fluffier guy and you get on these rings and you start doing planches and all that stuff, it works to your detriment. So that's the primary reason right there, uh, just for relative strength purposes. Again, it has nothing to do with the gym. And then another thing too, uh, I'll be doing more boxing, more swimming. So naturally, as a result of doing more cardio, I think I'm just gonna lean out as a result. Like uh, for me, it's never been a problem leaning out. I've always had difficulties bulking. In fact, the heaviest state that I reached was 191 pounds. And I couldn't go past that point because I was force feeding way too much and it was absolute hell. Plus my waist was huge, it was like 35 and a half inches. So I'm mainly doing this for the performance and the body weight training. And then with all the conditioning work that I'll be doing, naturally things are gonna lean out. So. I'm shooting for about low 160s. We're gonna see what I look like. We're gonna see where I end up because I do have a lot of mass there. But yeah, that's the goal for now. Low 160s to get very, very lean, all right? Now, in terms of how I'm gonna do this, I wanna detail the plan so that if you're doing a cut right now, you can follow my footsteps and we can do this together and we can monitor our progress and it'll be nice and fun. And by the way, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I will be posting a physique updates over there. So yeah, the way I'm gonna cut, the first technique that I'll be using is intermittent fasting. Fasting will be beneficial for me because I do a lot of work. Obviously, I work from home online and I got a lot of clients to deal with, a lot of emails to deal with. So naturally, it makes the most sense to just fast. Like focus on the work, fast, drink black coffee throughout the day with a lot of water to go with it. Uh, the benefit of the black coffee is that it's going to suppress the appetite so that when it's nighttime, I'm not feeling overly hungry. And then throughout the day, lots of water to stay hydrated and make sure that my stomach is uh, nice and full, at least the volume, right? So that's what we do throughout the day. I don't have a specific uh, time slot. I'm just gonna fast until my work is done, and then it's gonna start with the meals, okay? Now, the meals themselves is gonna be mega dosing vegetables for the uh, satiation effect, right? So I think that's very important. Probably about 50% of the meal is gonna be veggies with some fruits on the side as well for dessert. In addition to higher protein for uh, muscle sparing, because there might be a possibility that I'll lose a bit of muscle. So a slightly higher protein, and of course, has a greater thermic effect, so I'll be more uh, satisfied appetite-wise, right? And then the carbs, I'm not gonna really change much in regards to it. It's gonna be on the moderate side. What I'm really gonna modify is the fat. I'm not gonna be putting oil on my foods anymore. I'm not gonna put salt on my foods either. It's gonna be like salt-free for the most part. And if I do put some, it's gonna be like Himalayan pig sea salt, but very small amounts there. And spices, you know, but uh, no more Asian stuff. I gotta lay off it. Like I got a lot of soy sauce and uh, teriyaki sauce and all these things and it's, it's too much sodium. So I gotta cut that out, drink more water, get rid of the oils. And pretty much the only fat intake that I'm gonna have is gonna be like healthy sources for the most part, like uh, nuts, you know, and I have a lot of nuts that I bought, so I'm gonna be eating a lot of that, okay? And just so you know, by the way, I'll be doing this uh, vegan style. So it's gonna be a vegan diet for the most part. I don't even know if I could use the term vegan because I don't really have the ethical beliefs that these people have. Plus, I'll still be buying like leather jackets and things. So you know what? I don't think I'll call myself vegan, you know? Plus, uh, if I go out once in a blue moon to a restaurant and they use one egg to make a cake, am I really gonna complain? So. I don't think I'm gonna use the term vegan, but I will be plant-based, let's say 99% plant-based right there. So that's how I'm gonna do it. Uh, no animal products, no chicken, no meats, none of that stuff, just a lot of beans, 100% uh, clean eating, and uh, no eating out either. I'm just gonna go ham, I'm a freaking warrior, damn it. When I get into something, I don't stop, and I'll, and I'll just keep doing it until I'm satisfied. So 
I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to go 100% ham, balls to the wall, flooding. That's what I believe. I believe in flooding. I believe you jump in the goddamn pool, sink or swim, baby. So that's what I'm doing, okay? Now, in terms of the cardio, boxing every 48 hours or every day. But I'm thinking every 48 hours for better recovery. I have a 30-minute uh, boxing round thing that I developed. It has uh, Dragon Ball Z music included into it. And it's a really, really good boxing segment. So it's going to be 30 minutes every 48 hours. And then every day I'll be doing uh, low-intensity cardio, uh, 20 minutes of jogging to be particular. And over time, as I get leaner and leaner, I will increase it to about 40 minutes a day, then 60 minutes, and eventually 90 minutes. This will be at the later stages of the cut. So it's pretty much going to be a lot of conditioning work, more than ever before. Now, in terms of my strength development, I'm not really worried about it. Naturally enhances a system that perfectly matches your recovery. So I think I'll be just fine in terms of strength. And even if I do lose a bit, I can always do a short-term Bulgarian cycle at the very end of the cut. And I'll regain my strength like in a week or two. So I'm not worried about strength. Plus, the gymnastics is very difficult from a leverage standpoint. So I'm not surprised if I might even get stronger. I think my numbers will maintain, if not get better. And in certain areas like my biceps, they will definitely get bigger. Like I'm already seeing improvements since I started using the rings. So not really worried about the strength, especially since my conditioning is going to be through the goddamn roof. So my work capacity is going to be a lot higher and I think I'll be able to do a lot more things, right? So it's going to be really fun, guys. It's going to be a really fun cut. And I chose to do it in the winter for the simple purpose that it's going to build world power like nothing else. I'm all about the mindset, man. And if I do it while it's freaking freezing outside, it's going to force me to be on top of my game, on top of my shit. I can't be being lazy here and I can't be cheating things out, all right? Although now would be a perfect time to balk, technically. It's Canada. It's cold over here. I'm going to do a cut. Yeah, I'm going to do a cut. Why not? Plus, I mean, I've been thinking about it for so long, guys. You have no idea. I want to cut since um, the summer. But uh, because I had certain things to do in the gym, I wasn't able to cut yet. But now that I got what I was looking for, I think it's time to officially start. So that's pretty much the plan. In terms of the calories, I'm going to start off with a 20% calorie deficit. And over time, it's going to decrease to a 10% calorie deficit. And for the duration of this cut, I will be counting calories uh, perfectly. I will label everything and make sure that I'm on top of my game. Usually I estimate calories year round because I have a lot of experience, but for this particular purpose, I'll be counting every single goddamn calorie. And in terms of the macros, not doing that, I don't believe it's necessary whatsoever if you're following uh, clean eating. All I'm gonna do is make sure that my foods are proper. You know, I'm getting the right protein intake, the right uh, vegetable intake, fruits, all that stuff. And then the calories, as long as I'm in a deficit and I'm managing my recovery in the gym, I'm gonna be all good. So that's the plan, I'm doing a cup, I'm 186 pounds right now, so that is a starting point. Let's see what I look like in the low 160s as a real natural lifter. You're going to see what happens when a guy like me gets lean. So that said, I hope that this uh, motivates you. I'm probably going to make another video clarifying some goals since I'm sure a lot of questions are going to appear. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. Fasting, clean eating, a lot of cardio, mainly like boxing and swimming and, and jogging and things of that nature. And it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really, really fun. So... Let's see what I look like when your boy is lean. And of course, ho ready. Shout out to Chris Jones, by the way. So that said, folks, hope you learned something from my plan. Maybe you could apply it to your own cut. With that said, I'll talk to you all next time.